She was only 12 years old when she fell pregnant. The now teenage mother was raped allegedly by three men from her village. Speaking to us with her mother's consent, the 17-year-old says dealing with the ordeal was difficult emotionally. It was very painful, especially when I had to take my daughter to the clinic. It was embarrassing when I met all the people at the clinic, but I would console myself that it wasn't my fault that I was in that situation. The mother of a five-year-old girl dropped out of school two years ago in grade seven. That teacher was not okay. When she was angry, she would embarrass me in front of other pupils, and I decided to drop out of school. If it wasn't for this man, I would be far with school. The aunt reported the rape to the police in 2018 after her niece shared with her how she fell pregnant. They robbed her of her childhood because she experienced trauma way too early in her life. She had to go through the pain of a C-section because she couldn't give birth naturally, so ultimately her future was ruined. Her mother says it has been hard watching her young daughter deal with the trauma of being raped and becoming a mother at a very young age. It was painful, but I had no choice because she's my daughter, I must support her. It's not nice because she's young and without education you are unemployable with no future. The three rape accused, aged 61, 56 and 20, were arrested but subsequently released following a brief court case. One of them has since passed away. My child is old now, so I'm not bothered if they go to prison anymore. They will suffer for their actions. Experts agree that adolescent pregnancy is multi-layered. These are children who are birthing children. These are children who are, are being robbed and being deprived of their childhood to be able to play with toys, to be able to have fun, to enjoy in laughter, to enjoy games, to actually acquire opportunities to uh, engage with each other, but grow and develop in the way that they are supposed to. The young mother maintains that she is willing to go back to school because she still has a dream of becoming a teacher one day. Nerea Shakoza, SABC News, Pampirstad, Northern Cape.